So I'm Solomon Goldstein Rose. I grew up in Amherst, went to ARHS, and just won the state rep primary for the 3rd Hampshire District, which is Amherst Pelham and half of Granby. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Solomon. Uh, so what led you to run for 3rd District Representative? So I, I worked with Ellen Story when I was 12 and a couple times since then, and I heard in 2014 that she might be retiring, and I started wondering about this. I was getting more into politics at the time, having done some internships, and decided, having seen in the legislature how they often ignore these larger changes we need, the system level bills, I decided I was gonna run for the seat that was opening up. What is your advice to kids who are similarly trying to establish themselves and you know, get respect? If you think about these, this subconscious ways that people assume that a young person is not qualified or not um, smart or articulate on the issues. Know enough about the history or career. right. Being confident, being articulate about saying what I was trying to say. I'm not saying every kid should go into politics. Yes. I would love a lot more of us to. But also, if people are interviewing for a job learning the techniques of how to communicate effectively I think is one of the most important skills we can teach. So, a common refrain this election season is that politics and government are rigged, that they don't work for the common person. Has your experience validated that claim? No. At the local level especially, it's very easy for someone to get involved, to get elected even. Um, it's about who outworks the other candidates. It's about caring and being engaged. And if you think that you can make a difference, you can win an election. So I'm finishing up a little bit. What do you say to the people, because we're leading up to a big national election yeah. right now, what do you say to the people who are leaning towards writing in, voting third party? Vote for Hillary Clinton. She's going to be a wonderful president. And our system works that you have a choice. That's the way our election works. We can't change that before November. So vote for Hillary Clinton. Perfect.